ferns along the banks here really love this water. That old boom boom. Hi, huh, boom boom. We're gonna go check the waterfall out. What I call the waterfall anyway. It's really an erosion spot. Big old hole here. There's been eroding for years. This thing's so lush and the air back here is just unbelievable. Yeah, see there's some eroding more. It used to point that way about 20 years ago and it just slowly Eating back that way now. You can see the different parts of the soil right there. Look at them rocks. A layer of rock right there. See them right here. Never found an arrowhead back here. Never have. That's some rich soil in there though. All that black, all that forest been decaying over the years. The leaves and stuff. Pretty cool, ain't it? And then you got clay right here. You can use that clay for a bunch of stuff. Oh. Alright, come on, boom boom. You gotta go, bud. Hmm. Now I'm getting back out, right? And start to sprinkle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Testing my foot skills now. Oh, got my foot wet. Didn't bring the right shoes. It's all right. You all right, boo boo? Come on, buddy. It's slippery down here, ain't it, buddy? Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Now we're going to go back up there and see what kind of knife we can work on. And I got to change my shoes. <laughs> I should have brought my, put my buck, muck boots on, but it's starting to rain too. I might change all my clothes. It's pretty back here though. Absolutely love it. How about it? Oh yeah. I just saw some fish in there guys. A little bit of fish. This is a natural spring here, coming right out of the bank. Huh, boo boo. You like drinking out of it too, don't, don't you, buddy? It's good water. I drink out of it. Good stuff. Massive tree. This is uh, probably one of my oldest trees on the property here. She's beautiful.
beautiful, beautiful oak. It's got its tap roots all the way down to that spring right there. And it gets plenty of water. It's a beautiful oak tree. Beautiful. That's a witness tree right there. It's probably two to three hundred years old, easy. This tree is it's massive. It witnessed the birth of this nation, I guarantee you. It did. It's huge. I call her the tree of life. She's the oldest one. She's the grandmother of them all around here. I told y'all one time before, but this is where this natural spring starts right here. Goes down, comes out of, all out of this bank right here. And it goes down all the way down through the woods right there. All the way down to the back to that branch I was in. On out to a little pond, oh, um, a natural pond that the, the deer eat on or drink out, out of up under the power lines and all the way down it joins a i forgot what creek it joins but it goes to the uh chattahoochee river somehow and then it goes all the way down to lake seminole on out to the gulf of mexico that's pretty darn cool if you ask me See here guys, they already knocked all these uh, piles down. There's a few left over on that corner over here. But I'm gonna haul some stuff in here and over there, probably Sunday. See, they just constantly just look for bugs. That's all they do. And they're working all this stuff into the soil. And that's gonna break down. It's gonna cause good microbes to come into the soil to break that stuff down and it's and the rain really helped it the other day it got it wet it helps deteriorate it and just turns it into uh carbon and nitrogen for the soil so it's it's really good that you put that old stuff on back onto the soil and you see they're at they aerate the soil and on top of that they fertilize it too it's good stuff good stuff is what this is natural i don't ever put any type of fertilizers or anything on my gardens this is what i do every year and i always <coughs> always have a pretty good garden so can't complain good morning good afternoon good evening guys whatever time y'all are tuning in i certainly appreciate y'all are here by the time y'all watch this video guys i'm gonna be over in hawkinsville georgia doing my little knife hunt thing is at the peaches to beaches yard sale it's a 220 mile long yard sale so this is my first time going to this and i'm very excited i hope to find some knives in need of repair and uh i hope to be sharing those with you saturday morning uh but today guys i'm gonna be cleaning this knife up right here uh it's uh it's a u.s marine corps knife i'm gonna be carrying it with me tomorrow on my little knife hunt but uh, it's in excellent shape. It just needs uh, uh, some TLC real quick. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to take it over here to that, uh, my little three inch grinder and just get the surface rust off, give it its initial cleaning and clean it up real quick. Uh, so let's get started. If we can't shine it up some though. All this is is 400 grit sandpaper.
I'll hear it snap. This knife's in amazing shape. And Tim, thank you again, buddy, for this knife. But it will be going with me to Hawkinsville in the morning on a knife hunt all the way from Iowa. Now we're going to give it some Neville Doyle. Okay, you guys, here it is. It's beautiful, ain't it? Check that blade out. Ain't nothing wrong with that blade. Looks like it's hardly ever been used. It needs to be sharpened. I'm fixing to go and take it into the house and sharpen it, but it's you know it's got the can opener, and it actually says can opener right there. If you can barely see it, see right there. Then I love this long flat tip screwdriver with a bottle opener. It's got the thumb stud on there. And then you got the punch blade. But this thing cleaned up good, y'all. I knew it would. I just wanted to show you the inside real quick. Mm. These. See the inside right there? That brass just adds to it. I wish the Camillus's had brass. But uh, again, this is a Kingston. But it cleaned up good. Beautiful knife. I'm going to be carrying this tomorrow during my knife hunting. It's going to be part of my EDC for a little while. I love the bell too. But it cleaned up good, guys. I want to thank um, Tim again from Iowa for sending this in. I'm sure it was his dad's knife. Uh, I'm going to carry it with pride, buddy. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. It wasn't much to it. Uh, I, I wanted to get one in for today. But again, uh, by the time you're watching this, I'm going to be over in Hawkinsville doing my little knife hunting thing. But uh, I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for tuning in today. And I want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys.